In discussing the heretical teachings of Gnosticism, it is important to understand the warnings about Gnostic perversions in their rendering of scripture. Irenaeus, a disciple of Polycarp, who was a disciple of John, made it very clear on one of the greatest atrocities they were committing. Against Heresies, Book 3, Chapter 12 Wherefore also Marcion and his followers have betaken themselves to mutilating the scriptures, not acknowledging some books at all, and curtailing the gospel according to Luke and the epistles of Paul. They assert that these are alone authentic, which they have themselves thus shortened. In another work, however, I shall, God granting me strength, refute them out of these which they still retain. But all the rest, inflated with the false name of knowledge, do certainly recognize the scriptures, but they pervert the interpretations, as I have shown in the first book. As we have just read, one of the greatest threats to sound doctrine as practiced by the Gnostics was the removal and alterations to scripture. The Gnostics, Gnosis being the Greek word for knowledge, attacked the fact that Christ was God in the flesh, called the created world evil, as with the creator, and had practiced paganism, occultism, and ritualistic sexual perversion. The Gnostics came from Alexandria, Egypt, and were known as the Borborites, and were originally the Nicolaitans Jesus spoke against in Revelation 2 verse 6. Today the critical text, originated by Westcott and Hort, which based their translation on two Alexandrian codexes, which among their practices called for textual exclusions, is largely based on papyri fragments that come from Alexandria, Egypt and make the basis for the new Bible translations. The received text, aka the Textus Receptus, is based on the majority manuscripts, traditional text, that descends from Antioch, Syria, the line of manuscripts directly from the Apostles and the early church, which was the basis of the King James translation with 99% of the 6,000 plus manuscripts matching with its translation of the Holy Scriptures. Matthew 23 verse 14 Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. Therefore ye shall...